Hey guys, it's M Beans and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today we are continuing the series of fall island tours for October. Today we are on a very special island by Storybrook underscore ACNH on Instagram. This island is so beautiful. It even has a football field. It is everything fall, and I'm super excited to share it with you guys. Island creator Mel makes the most unique themed islands, and she is so creative. Everything she does is beautiful. It seems like she's making a new island every couple of weeks, and I have always been a huge fan of all of the themes that she has done. And I'm so excited to show you guys this one. So let's pull up her map. So here we have Island Rep Annie. And we have Blair, Marshall, Poppy, Ellie, Maple, Deirdre, Kiki, Lucky, Eric, and Bones. So let's just jump right into this tour. Here is her beautiful entrance complete with a duck pond with a viewing area. She even made a place to park your bikes and have a seat. I featured this entrance in my 15 fall entrance ideas. My favorite part of this entrance is this walkthrough where it looks like you can have a little viewing area to watch the ducks or feed them. And then it leads you right to resident services. The pathway goes around in a circle. And I think this looks fantastic. So let's go. To the left, you saw a part of the museum just now. I might as well show you the entire thing. Look how beautiful this is and check out the pumpkin scarecrows. It looks like just pumpkins growing in the ground and I love the trees bounty archways. This is beautiful. I love the really big looking bridge too. Is it just me or does that bridge look huge? And then if we walk through the pathway, we come to a beachside farm. Check out all of the details here. It's complete with a little shed and a picnic area. I love this. It's such a unique way to use your beach in this awkward space that she has here. It looks just so natural and perfect. And let's continue to the left. Look at this little study area. That is so cute. But check out this bridge. It just looks so huge to me. Oh my, look at the view. This is gorgeous. This area right here. It's just a big old farmhouse complete with a shed, a lawnmower, some trash, a fire hydrant. Like this is perfect. I love everything about this. And the view of the side yard of the house, it's beautiful. I love the pathway and I've always been obsessed with the tiny trees. So cute. And if we follow the pathway this way, we come across a nice basketball area for the kids to play. 
that live at this house or maybe we are approaching a few houses I love the duck pond here as well and I love how homey this feels oh my gosh it's just like a suburban neighborhood it's perfect okay I've said that a lot but it really is check out this side yard the perfect place to hang out with your friends you could have all of the kids birthday parties at your house complete with a pool like what else could you possibly need the perfect hangout which also has a shed in the back as well and if we continue along the pathway we come across another house wow this feels so cozy I feel like I'm watching a fall Hallmark movie or something you guys like this is beautiful I wish I lived in this area can I move here Mel because I would pay millions of dollars to live here please the different colors of the trees I know that that's not intentional but the layering is everything and that circles us back around and I missed this campfire before I love that detail I love all the sheds that she has and let's go to the left oh look at the backyard to this house oh my gosh there is a puppy with a ball and some water it's like the perfect suburban backyard and there's even a tiny library I am in love I'm going to spend all of my days here you guys all of my days check out this little house has some snacks out to eat I love it and what do we have here another house I love it Wow this is a house with a front porch you guys front porch sitting Mel said that she created this one as one of her first builds on this island she wanted to be able to sit on a front porch with a friend and she has accomplished this beautifully I wish I lived here look at the coffee in the back behind the chairs like oh I can't I can't deal okay okay so focus behind this house that we saw also has a backyard check out this backyard I freaking love it we got a backyard grill going back here a campfire we can roast some s'mores it's perfect okay let's continue going left and let's go up this incline and see what we find a lovely home up here perfectly nestled in the trees looking so cozy They have a pumpkin patch at their house. That's perfect. And all the cozy snacks on the table. We got some spooky cookies. Guys, it's the bomb.com up here. 
living my best life. I'm just loving the residential feel so much. And all the houses they decorated for fall. Like, this is my dream neighborhood to live in in real life. Seems like all the villagers are involved. Neighborhood activities, you know, pumpkin decorating, carving, everything. In this cozy sitting area with another tiny library right in the center of a bunch of the houses. You know that all the neighborhood kids are hanging out here. This is like the hangout spot. And this house has a cute little puppy that's hanging out with you while you're rocking on your rocking chair. I love the trendy rug here. I'm just, I'm just speechless, you guys. I love every detail here. Like, you just know that this is the neighborhood that everyone goes trick-or-treating in. And that's where I want to live. I love handing out candy. I want my future kids to be able to trick-or-treat in our own neighborhood. I just think that that's awesome. And here we have the villager home. Not the villager home, but the main home. Now, Mel has not released her dream address yet, so the interiors are probably not done, so I'm not going to go inside, but by the time she releases her dream address next week, which is the, let's see, the second week, technically, in October, she's going to release her dream address and then her interiors and the rest of her beaches may or may not be complete. But you should definitely check it out for yourself. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I love the laundry matching the curtains back there. This just feels so homey, you guys. I just love it. And look at that beach view in the back with the trees. I love that. Oh, it's just perfect. Like, don't you just want to live here? I do. Preferably the house with the two rocking chairs. Right? Oh, 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 oh. That looks like an abandoned house, but we didn't get there yet. Okay. So we're going across another bridge. Oh, and look what we see over there. The sneak peek of some good stuff. And I see a corn maze. Love it. But we're going to finish the way over here. Look at this picnic area here. I am obsessed. It's so perfectly relaxing. I could just take a snooze, just hang out, read a book. Even though I don't even like reading, this island makes me want to read. So let's check out what's down here in this sunken area. And of course, it's the abandoned house. I love that. Guys, honestly, a neighborhood in America is not complete without a house that looks like this. This is probably haunted. No one wants to touch it. No one wants to live there. Fix it up. Nothing. But it is an eyesore. And it's right next to the nice house where I want to live with the front porch. That is degrading the property value, but at least we could get a deal. But honestly, Mel did so good with this house. 
And right in front of that house, we have, I think, our final villager home. Which is so cute and nestled in the trees. I just love everything, you guys. Can't deal. Can't deal. I feel like I need a pumpkin spice latte. I love how she made so many different houses. Ooh, this one is so cute. we have found nook's cranny up here nestled in the trees and this is actually behind resident services it is actually just completely equal with resident services i love this symmetry and i love how she decorated behind resident services right here with these pumpkins and the two benches and the wheat fields it just adds so much depth to the view of nooks. And let's continue on the pathway. I did switch to wide angle camera view. I feel like it's going to give us such a better view of what's coming up next, which is this. That's right, it's a football stadium, complete with a ticket booth. It looks freaking awesome, you guys. This is so creative to have made a football stadium in Animal Crossing. I have never seen this done before, but I am obsessed. She did such a cute photo shoot here. Check it out on her Instagram because it was really adorable. She had football players, cheerleaders, the whole gang. And let's see if we go this way. Okay, we already saw that, but let's go back to the corn maze. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm so in the mood for fall. I want to go to a fall festival just like this. This is like the perfect fall festival right here with a farmhouse, some pumpkin carving, a pumpkin patch. We have the hay rides. I'm calling this a corn maze. It might not be a corn maze, but it looks just like a fall festival. And we have apple picking back here. Wow. All right. We covered the left side of the island and let's continue to the right, I think. But let's not miss this cute little seating area here that is on both sides. I love it. It's probably behind something, which is a building that we can't see from this way can't decide which way to go let's just go back here Wow Wow this is stunning it reminds me of Thanksgiving I know she hosted a birthday party here for one of her friends but I think it has changed just a tiny bit but I am in love with this area so it's so 
beautiful, gosh. It's called the Fall Feast. She actually made this in a collaboration with November Oscar Whisker on Instagram, who made a fall feast with mods, and she wanted to recreate it without mods, and it looks very close. I'm going to put Brie is her name. I'm going to put the inspiration on the screen as well. They used the hashtag ACNH mod recreation on Instagram for this little challenge. And then I found this secret little pathway over here. And I was like, what is this? This is her campsite. So she actually ran out of space on her island for her campsite. But this looks like it's just perfect. It's like she intentionally did it. It fits perfectly on this beach and it looks really good with the peninsula in the background as well. And here's a close up view of how she made this building. Let's go to the other side. She used the medieval walls with simple panels. And then on the lower level, she used the storefronts. I love all the space fillers that she used along all of the pathways. It just looks great. And let's check out this spot. So this is the island's bookstore. As you can tell, there are lots of books. I love that she has made so many buildings. It just looks so good. And check out this space filler right here with the well. I love the I love the well with the seating around it. It looks so good. And then we can follow the pathway and we find Abel's here. I love the amount of trees that she used. Wow. It looks like a little shopping district. Again, the use of these makeshift buildings. Who needs mods? She figures out how to do the most incredible islands with no mods at all. Everything always looks so good. Everything she posts is always incredible. So let's check out what this building is where we were behind it earlier with the seating areas. Oh, it's a school. It's the school of Pinecone. And the school is all decorated for fall. My school never did this. I wish. I love all the details, even the clock that's over here. It looks so much just like a regular school. I love that. And if we continue in front of Abel's, we find a duck pond with a seating area. Wow, this view is everything. So check out the little ducks at the pond. They are adorable. And another seating area with a little garden looks so good and here we have another school this could be like the elementary school or the middle school and check out the sports here 
on the beach for all the kids to come play. This is where they're going to go to recess. Lots of space for all the kids to come and play. Wow, and everything she has thought of for the pathways, every detail. And this is actually right by the entrance. So we saw this duck pond at the very beginning. What a nice place for the school. Because the kids can, they have a good view of the duck pond. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys today. That is the end to this amazing autumn town tour. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, if you tune in next week, I will have another autumn themed island tour all the way through the month of October. I'm going to stick with this theme. When we get closer to Halloween, I will do some Halloween themed island tours. Stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Mel for having me on this island. Before her official DA release, I am honored and I enjoyed this island so much. Don't forget to check her out on Instagram or Twitter. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.